Welcome to my YouTube channel, Genuine Info Source, a channel you can trust. Today I will show you how to create custom image file of Windows operating system. How can we remove Windows component, Windows application from Windows operating system image file. For this procedure, we need the Windows operating system image file and the MSMG toolkit. We will use the image file of the Windows 10 operating system here. The download link for MSMG Toolkit and Windows 10 ISO image file is given in the description of the video. Let's start. Download the files given in the description of the video. Extract the MSMG Toolkit file. After extracting you will get files like this. Now you have to double click on file start.inf from msmg toolkit files. A command prompt windows will open after clicking. Accept the term and condition of the msmg toolkit. Then press the enter key to continue. The main menu of the msmg toolkit will appear in front of you. In it you will see that different options are given to customize the windows. First you need to select option 1. Source. For this you have to press key 1. After pressing 1 key, you will get 6 options. The first option. Select the source from the DVD folder. The second option. Copy the source from the DVD drive. Third option. Extract source from DVD ISO image. Fourth option. Extract source from OAM IMG image. Fifth option. Extract source from store ASD image and sixth option. Extract source from MCT and custom ASD image. We will select option 1 here. After selecting option 1. It will show us the error because we have not chosen the location of the Windows ISO image file. Press the Enter key and go to the location of the Windows 10 ISO image file. You have to extract the Windows 10 ISO image file and copy the extracted files inside the DVD folder in the MSMG toolkit. You can use WinRAR software to extract the file. Please wait a while. This will take 1 to 2 minutes. Now your file is extracted. You can copy or cut it to the DVD folder. You can delete the image file of Windows 10. We no longer need this file. Select the extracted files and paste them into the DVD folder. Now go back to the MSMG toolkit and select option 1. Select the source from the DVD folder option. You will notice that this tool does not support the Windows install.asd file. The ASD file format is a highly compressed format. We cannot edit it directly. Therefore, we have to convert this ASD file format to Win format. This install.asd file will be found in your source folder which is found in DVD folder of M. SMG Toolkit. This is the file in which the Windows 10 operating system and all application files are compressed.
to convert this ASD file to .wim format. We have to use the Power ISO tool. Install the Power ISO tool on your computer by downloading it from the download link in the description of video. The downloaded file also contains the license key with which you can use all its feature. Open the tool by opening the Power ISO tool icon and go to the Tools tab and click on ASD to WIM Converter. Run the Power ISO tool as administrator. Select the source file and select the location of the install.asd file. Then click the convert button. Now the file conversion process has started. It may take longer to convert. I'm leaving the video to save time. Click the close button. The conversion process is complete. You must delete the install.asd file. Otherwise the MSMG tool will show the file format error again. As you can see this tool is not detecting install.wim file. Now go back to the source folder. Here you will see that the install.asd file has been converted to the install.wim file. You have to delete the .asd file and go back to the msmg toolkit. Now select the option, one source from dvd folder by pressing the key one. This will now detect your Windows operating system image file. Now select your Windows 10 operating system by pressing the key 1. It will ask you to mount the Windows 10 recovery image and boot image file. You can choose yes or no as you like. I am selecting no here. Now this process will take some time. I am leaving the video. After the process is complete, press any key to continue. This will take you to the previous menu. After this we will have to go to the second option. Integrate. In it we can add external Windows components such as Windows language packs, Windows driver packages and install third-party Windows applications. But we have to remove the Windows component from the Windows operating system. Therefore, we skip this task and we are going to our third option remove after moving on to the third option we get three options here the first is remove windows components the second is remove windows applications using the application list and the third is remove windows components using the package list we will select the first option remove windows components Press key 1 for the first option. After selecting 1, two options will appear in front of you. You must select the first option. Select the remove windows component. You will now see different categories of windows components. This category is internet, multimedia, network, privacy, remoting, system, system applications, windows applications. You can remove the Windows component as per your requirement. I am selecting the first option. Select option 1 and remove the component as per your requirement. You will see that you have three options available in the Internet option. These options can be more or less. It depends on the image file of your Windows operating system. You can select the Windows component using the below mentioned key. For example, you can remove all components by pressing the key A and go back by pressing the key X. You can press the numeric key corresponding to the component list. Please note that, 
only the component which has minus icon will be removed and the component which has plus icon will not be removed here we are removing adobe flash player edge chromium browser internet explorer to return to the previous menu press the x button go to multimedia options by pressing key 2 a list of several components will appear remove components as per your requirement if you remove all windows components your windows image file will not be corrupted this is a safe process press key x to return to the previous menu next go to the third option network In it you will find networking related components such as remote service and device IP. Remove the components as you need and press the X key to return to the previous menu. Now press key 4 and go to the privacy option. Here you can also remove windows components as per your requirement. You can remove all components of the windows in the same way. So, I'm fast forwarding the video. If you have a problem related to computer or mobile, please write your problem in the comment section of the video. This channel will definitely upload a video on it. After installing this Windows, Applications that we have removed from this tool will not be found in the Windows Applications list. This will reduce your computer's CPU usage and free up more space in system RAM. Using this tool, you can also disable Windows Automatic Update, disable automatic third-party Windows Driver Update and Windows Application Update. After this procedure your Windows operating system will not ask you for a product key and your Windows will be fully activated. Now you go back to the remove component and press the X button to go back. The components you just selected. We have to remove all those components. For this you have to select. Start removing windows components. Start the removal process by pressing key 2. Wait until the process is complete. I'm fast forwarding the video. Now the removal process is complete. Press the enter key to continue and go back by pressing the X button. Go to the main menu and select the fourth option. Customize. You now have seven options available. In the first option, you can enable the windows feature from the feature list. In the second option, you can disable the Windows feature. In the third option, you can import custom default inbox apps from the XML file. In the fourth option, you can export the default inbox application to an XML file. In the fifth option, you can delete the default inbox application. In the sixth option, you can customize the start menu via the XML file. In the seventh option, you can import registry settings. In the eighth option, you can apply tweak to the system. We will go to the eighth option here. For this you need to press 8 key. There are many options available here. 
This is the service list of the Windows 10 operating system. In this service list, you can disable automatic Windows updates. Disable automatic Windows upgrades. Disable automatic third-party application updates. Disable Microsoft Defender. And disable other services. You can disable and execute different tasks based on your requirement. Press the corresponding index key according to the menu list and disable the service. Disable automatic drive update. Disable automatic update of third-party applications. Disable automatic Windows upgrade. Disable Microsoft reserved storage space for Windows update. Disable Windows Defender. Disable Windows Update. Enable Windows Photo Viewer. Force.NET program to use the latest .NET framework. Hide taskbar Cortana icon. Hide taskbar Meet Now icon. Hide taskbar News and Interests. Go to the main menu by double pressing the X button. Now your Windows customization process is complete. Now you have to go to option 5. Apply. Press key 5 for option apply. Choose the first option. It will clean your Windows ISO image file. Image cleaning process has completed. Now proceeds by pressing the enter key. You can change default desktop wallpaper in Windows 10. For this you have to go in the mount folder of the MSMG toolkit. Then you have to go to install folder. In the install folder you will find a folder named 1. Open it. You will get a Windows folder. In this folder a web name folder is found. Open it and go to the folder named Wallpaper. In Wallpaper folder, you will find a folder named Windows. Now open it. In this you will get an image file, which is your default wallpaper of Windows operating system. You cannot edit this file directly in this folder. For this you have to remove the ownership of this file. You will need a registry file to remove ownership. The download link of registry file is given in the video description. You can also remove ownership of file in security tab option in file. As you can see, we cannot directly edit this file. Here I will show you how to remove file ownership using registry file. Go to the location of downloaded registry file. Install the registry file in system. For installation, double click on registry file and press yes button. 
Right click on Windows Desktop Wallpaper Image File. You will notice that right clicking on the image file gives you the option of take ownership. Click on this option and save the file to a different location. After copy the image file, you can delete the original image file. Go to the saved location of image file. Now you can edit this file and set your personal image. This wallpaper will be set as the default wallpaper on your computer when you install this windows on your system. Now copying this file to its original file location. You can also change default wallpaper of different windows color theme. You can change the wallpaper in the same process. For next process. Go back to MSMG Toolkit and go to Option 2. Apply and save changes to source images. Press the end button and continue. Press the enter key. Now go to our last option. Target. After selecting target you have to select the destination source of the Windows ISO image file. You have 5 options available to create Windows ISO image files. In the first option, you can save Windows ISO image to local system and burn to DVD later. In second option, you can burn it directly to DVD drive. In the third option, you can save it to a USB flash drive. In the fourth option, you can install it by syncing it with the source boot file on the USB flash drive. In the fifth option, you can create a bootable USB flash drive by flashing the Windows ISO image. We are selecting option 1 here. For option 1, press 1 key. Set volume label name of ISO file. After that set the name of the ISO file and then press enter. Your Windows ISO image file will be created shortly. It will only take a little time. Your Windows 10 image file is created. Press Enter to continue. On pressing Enter key you will be back to main menu. Keep in mind that you should not close this windows directly. There are few windows files left in MSMG toolkit folder. Which cannot be deleted directly. To exit the MSMG toolkit. You have to press the X key then it will delete Windows files automatically. Press the Enter key and exit the Windows.
you will find the Windows ISO image file in the MSMG Toolkit ISO folder. You will find the size of ISO image file is reduced as compared to original file size because we have removed the windows components from this file we have to flash this image file to the usb flash drive for this we will need rufus flash tool the download link of rufus flash tool is given in the video description open the rufus flash tool and select the location of windows iso image file You must have a minimum 8 GB capacity USB flash drive. Now click the start button to start the flashing process. Your Windows ISO image file has been successfully flashed to the USB flash drive. Now close the Rufus flash tool. We need to boot our computer from a USB flash drive. We have to go in computer BIOS menu. You have to restart your computer to enter into BIOS menu. Press F2 key to enter into BIOS menu. This key is different for different laptops or computers. Boot from USB flash drive by going into boot menu. The Windows operating system is now booting from the USB flash drive. I have already given the Windows installation procedure in another video. How to install Windows 10 from a USB flash disk. From there you can see the further installation procedure. The video link is given in the video description. So, I am fast forwarding the video. The Windows 10 operating system is now installed in your computer. You can see the default wallpaper is our selected image. When you connect your computer to the internet, Windows will be activated automatically. We see that the Windows application that we removed via MSMG Toolkit is no longer available here. This will also reduce hard drive space. In this way we can create custom image file of Windows 10. 
Thanks for watching my video.